What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering, and it would appear that Naughty Dog is hunkered down in full damage control mode. Some good news is they've begun to lose their DMCA claims on videos, having strikes lifted, even getting so desperate now as to be claiming memes made inside of other video games. We'll see if they claim this thumbnail in this video. It'll be interesting to watch as it is based on an obvious golf mini game inside The Last of Us 2. I mean, obviously it's satire uh, and should be well within the realm of fair use, but let's see what Naughty Dog has to say about it. Now, this morning, they released a brand new trailer, which I have not seen yet, and then we'll watch together and we'll see what we can see from that trailer. But first, a brief update on everything. So, last night, it started out, Nick Ricada was reporting, reminder, as everyone wins their DMCA counterclaims against Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog is trash and likely won't have any legal ramifications from their bad faith abuse of DMCA. The only proper ramification comes from you. Don't buy their game. CC Neil Druckmann. You can see Heel vs. Babyface in here reporting that all three of his videos have been restored. You've seen Sony as a... We can go back to May 2nd. Sony now DMCA striking even that Last of Us 2 meme made in Grand Theft Auto 5 on a golf course. They own absolutely none of that content and if fought would 100% lose a court in court, but they know nobody will. I can tell you this, as somebody who has counterclaimed not one, not two, but more than 100 DMCA claims on my channel and I have won 100 of them. I have not lost a single DMCA claim. You have to know how to word it. You have to make sure that they know you're willing to take it all the way. And every single time they drop it, including big companies like Warner Brothers, these companies rely on YouTubers being afraid to counterclaim because the language when you counterclaim something is pretty intimidating. It says, Things like, you know, this is a legally binding contract. Um, it, it, you know, you, you might perjure yourself if you if you uh, aren't telling the truth. All the wording from YouTube themselves is to set up to scare the YouTuber to counterclaim because YouTube doesn't want to get involved. So if they allow these big corporations to scare YouTubers with these legalese copyright strikes and things like that, and the YouTubers just sit down and take it, then YouTube can just say, well, look, the system works. All this infringing material gets removed. When the reality is YouTube, more YouTubers need to stand up and counterclaim these things, word it in the correct manner, tell them that you're willing to take it all the way, and you'll win. I mean, I was winning these when I had 10,000 subscribers. They don't care how many subscribers you have. Somebody on the other end is looking at this wording and they're like, oh boy, you know, I tell them, hey, I'll rally support, I'll get a GoFundMe going, I'll take this to court, I don't care. I'm crazy like that. And they always back down. You could see account has been locked, here's Memology. All right, I defend Naughty Dog getting, over getting their game info leaked, but abusing DMCA claims on YouTube and now tweets. This is what happens when our beloved game developers get too confident. They overstep, screw Naughty Dog. This is from Big Fry, another good YouTuber. And this going back to Mamology tweeting out that he um, he uh, got his account locked because he talked about and tweeted information about the leaks. Now, again, I don't understand what Naughty Dog doesn't understand about this, but stop it. Stop. It's time to stop. All right? The more bad faith DMCA stuff you do, the the, the stu look. By the way, I'm fine, and I 100% understand Naughty Dog. For example, going and saying, um, you know, turning off comments on their videos. They have to because they're just getting flooded with leaks, and they want to help preserve the people that don't want to be leaked. I understand that. Turning off the like and dislike ratio. I don't understand that. That's being a baby. They know what's coming. They know that you're going to see a ton of dislikes. Now, you can see Jeremy Prime here retweeting from Geeks and Gamers, another person that won their uh, copyright strike disputes with The Last of Us. Um, you can see Hero Hey here. Naughty Dog is getting triggered over memes now. Naughty Dog tweets, people meme in the replies. Naughty Dog hides memes. They also 
Seems they also hide the tweet that calls them out about the strikes. Some examples below. So you can see here, you click on the information of Naughty Dog, you can see. And you can see the actual hidden replies. All right. And you see exciting news. Is Neil going to address all the false copyright claims they put on YouTubers? I hear they went after people on BitChute now. And I heard that that's also true. Uh, and interesting that they would hide this. That's pretty shocking. I didn't know that till right now. Every time I record these videos, it's live. My reactions are real. Uh, so that's that's really bad. I understand why they might want to hide memes, but that's not okay. And then you see some more memes. Leaks were bad enough, and now you're shutting down channels on YouTube for merely talking about the fallout, and Druckmann is still an Anita Sarkeesian boot bootlicker. And screw the ma'am Abby. And that's the stuff they're hiding. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Why do you think that they're hiding this kind of stuff? Well, if we go to the Naughty Dog page where they're announcing that they had gone gold, this video is one of their most popular maybe ever. 400,000 views. I don't see anything anywhere near that. It's actually their most popular video of all time. And it's by far the most disliked. It has currently nearly 70,000 dislikes. Hey, look at that. Look at the video it's recommending right next to it. <laughs> um, 68,000 dislikes to 23,000 likes. And of course, comments are turned off. Now, Naughty Dog probably saw this and went to their new trailer, which has likes and dislikes disabled. Absolute cowards. Let's take a look at the trailer. I wish things were different. <laughs> Foreshadowing on all the leaks. I mean, obviously, I'm sure they had this trailer done long before the leaks, but <laughs> that's kind of funny. Really? But they ain't. Please stop. Oh! Oh! Ho -ho! We know what's happening in that scene. We know, you know what's funny is these probably watching this trailer now, knowing how everything ends, is probably brutal. Just brutal. I'm leaving tomorrow. Interesting. To do this smart, we'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. So they just get to get away with this? How'd you find us? You know what's interesting so far? They haven't shown really anything about the character that they force you to play for half the game. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. And, and, um, you know, for a telltale like game, you know, that's, I think that's what really, really hurt the worst about the leaks. Say, for example, you look at, let's say you talked about Red Dead Redemption 2 and um, Arthur Morgan's fate at the end of the game. Okay. I won't say what it is, obviously, but whatever. If you knew that going in, the game is still awesome because there's just so much cool stuff to do in the game. The problem with Naughty Dog's The Last of Us Part 2 leaks is that it's basically a telltale game or like a television show or a movie that you're watching. And when you get so much of that movie spoiled to you, there's not a lot of reason to play the game anymore. You can't stop this. I won't. I really hope you make it.
Dang, this trailer would be intense if I didn't know how it ended. <laughs> Um, a, 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 a hundred pound girl overpowering a full grown man. Love it. It's a cost. We could have killed you. Maybe you should have. Oh boy. So. Naughty Dog doesn't show any of what everyone already knows. I wonder if they if they had to scramble to recut this trailer. It's 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 difficult to know for sure, to be honest with you. I don't know if if they would. Um if there's I'm sure there's time. I mean, there's obviously time. They the leaks happened what a full week ago. You could definitely recut a trailer in that amount of time. You have all the cutscenes. You have all that kind of stuff. I think it's curious that uh, Naughty Dog continues to hide like any reference at all to the to everything that everyone already knows. We're not seeing the character you're forced to play. Obviously, they're not going to spoil like big reveals or the big twists. But I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, the the trailer. Um, you know, outside, and I, I've always said this, like, it's always been a, a gripe of mine when you have, like, a 100-pound female overpowering full-grown men. Like, if there's a reason for it, you know, I, they have superpowers or they, they have some, all you have to do is do, like, the littlest lore, the littlest thing so I can suspend that disbelief. But that's always been, like, the, the hilarious part of it, you know, like, Watching um, Black Widow kick somebody through a wall or something like that. I'm just like, I just can't. I just can't. You know, it just would never happen. But outside of that, um, you know, I, I suppose there's stuff here to be excited about if you haven't been spoiled. Um, if you have been spoiled, then you're probably angry because, well, <laughs> you can see that they've cut out very specific things. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how they continue to damage control. It'll be interesting to see if they come after this video because I reacted to the trailer. We'll be watching closely, everybody, because Naughty Dog, see, the damage is done for The Last of Us Part 2. It's still going to sell fine. It's not going to sell amazing like it would have. But will future games be damaged by this, by the behavior of Naughty Dog through all of this with their striking and their DMCA claims and things like that? What kind of ripple effect will it have in the video game industry? What kind of ripple effect will it have with a new Uncharted game or a new uh, a new title from Naughty Dog? Because everyone's going to remember what they did to YouTubers and gamers with this one. Will it be a long-lasting effect? I definitely could see it. But I'll be interested to hear what your comments are in the comment section down below. And we'll talk to you again real soon.